Yo, okay, so today we finally got him. I know a lot of y'all have heard me talk about the legendary Joe himself, okay? Some of y'all may not have believed me, so I wanted to bring Joe on camera um, and kind of, you know, kind of get his a review, um, his testimony, his his thoughts, his um, feedback of what the actual training program was, right? Um, because, Joe, I don't know if you know, but you kind of got started in the infancy of the program. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah, and so it's much right. larger and much more established now and all, all those things like that. But brother, thank you for joining me. Um, it was a hell of a hard time trying to get your time. So I appreciate you being here. Uh let's just let's start from the top. So tell us about like we're not even going to get to RPA yet. Tell us what you were doing prior to RPA. So prior to RPA, I was doing uh mobile maintenance and I was doing deliveries so okay that was joe then mobile maintenance and delivery what kind of delivery uh i did deliveries on um like delivery platforms i did some amazon deliveries okay gotcha, gotcha. food gotcha. deliveries you know gotcha gotcha, that gotcha. Nature. gotcha okay um and so do you recall i call it a uh, a white hot moment right Mm -hmm. That is where, like, you ever, like, have a decision you've been need meaning to make, but you've kind of just been putting it off, and then yeah. you, something yeah. happens, and you're just like, nah, F that, bro, no more. I'm I'm changing this shit as of right now, right? Yeah. Do you recall a moment like that where you had that, like, I'm trying to figure out what was your motivation to get started in RPA? Obviously, we had the conversation, and we I talked to you about what it was, and so that's when you knew what it was, but... What was the motivation for you to pursue it in general? My motivation, um, I guess my white hot moment was uh, when we were talking about it and uh, you were kind of explaining to me the overall simplicity of it compared to other OOPs. Um, it just, you know, kind of like a, a light went off in my head because that, that was when I was doing uh, FedEx and I was working, I mean, long hours, man, doing like 300 plus deliveries every run. And mm -hmm. it was exhausting. And I'm thinking I can make this money working these hours and it's not even as difficult as, you know, Python or something like that. And, you know, they're, they're really going after, um, developers that are in state like there there's a preference towards that and and the market's kind of wide open like mm -hmm. there's a lot of people that they're needing sign me up mm -hmm. i like so that it. was my that was my boing. i just yeah. i had to i had to strike the iron okay so then so let's talk about it we we actually met at um someone's birthday party it was your someone says some we met at a birthday party Right. Yeah. My uh, sister. Then we had the conversation about RPA. You uh -huh. joined the program. What 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 was it like when you first got started? So when I first got started, um it was it was it was very simple. Um, but I had developed a, a habit of just not focusing on things the way I should. So mm -hmm. around that time. I was preparing for my daughter's birthday party, right? Mm -hmm. And I, I had got the program. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, man, what, 40 hours or a 50-hour, um, the the training, the initial training? I'm like, I could knock that out in a week. Mm -hmm. <sighs> well, you know, I drug it out to, I think, about a month mm -hmm. or even a month and a half unnecessarily because I was picking up the stuff really well. But mm -hmm. um, initially, I just wasn't applying uh, mm -hmm. the time I really should have to it. Mm -hmm. And so in the beginning, you say that it was simple. You weren't as focused as you'd like to have been. And had you been, you could have blazed through it a lot faster. I mean, absolutely. Um, the the, the uh, software that you use at the time, the videos, I mean, they're well-paced. They explain everything really well. Um, and, you know, it was it was enjoyable, actually. Yeah, like, it, 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 it was so simple that you grew to like it and enjoy right. it. People, I don't think 
I don't think that is something that people end up doing. Like that's not going to happen for the average person trying to teach themselves coding online. Right. You know, especially something, you know, more complex. Okay. So you got in, it was simple. Um, you know, now that I have more students, it's interesting, but like everybody does the same thing. Everybody comes in and they're so gung ho. And I'm like, okay, just watch the videos and do it in, do it in two weeks. <laughs> yeah. No one's finished the videos within two weeks. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. So I think most people are going at the same pace that you went, right? Yeah. Uh, I have like one or two go getters, but that just seems to be the average um, pace that people go, which is, which is fine. Um, and so you get to the bot building, then we get to the three star and the four star bot, the, the, the medium and hard. Of, do you remember mm -hmm. doing those? Do you remember how you felt during those? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I felt when I was doing those projects, uh, I guess challenged, um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you know, when you initially <laughs> see them and, yeah. it, and it's explained, you're like, oh, okay, this is simple. I got this. Right. Yeah. And so when you're actually going through the process of uh, writing some of these blocks, um, you're like, wait, now how do I do that? <laughs> and so, you know, it's funny. You, you, yeah. I found myself staring at it for a long period of time, trying to figure it out on my own. And, you mm -hmm. know, I, I would talk to you about it. And you're like, Joe, listen, all these problems have already been solved. Just go find a solution. Someone's already did it. And every time, you know, I, I thought back to that and I just went and looked for someone else's solution, I mean, I got it taken care of within the hour. So mm -hmm. it, you know, it always panned out to be a lot simpler um, than what than, you made it. Than when I made it, <laughs> right? Trying it's to figure it out. The software is too simple. Right. Oh, man. It yes. is okay. really good. So let's let's jump ahead a little bit because one thing that I'm hearing a lot of people tell me, a lot, a lot, a lot of people is they say, hey, I've joined the boot camp. I've joined to something before. There mm -hmm. were 200, 300, 400, 500 people in it, and I didn't get the hands-on experience that I needed. And, you know, I learned the skill, but then when it came to interviewing, you know, and finding a job, I was kind of just left out there to dry. Like they weren't giving any kind of help, right? They were taught Python and they pushed out the door. So the real value, now that we're talking, we're, we're done with the bot building and all that. Now that now we're into the real value of the actual program, right? Which is the the the, the tailoring of a resume, the gaining of social skills, and the 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 obtaining of a job. I have the as, as far as I know, I have the industry's first um and only uh I don't even know what you want to call it, platform where the outcome, like you come to me to get employed, not to learn things. Like that is the guarantee. We don't, you're not done until you're employed, period, right? So that's kind of what sets me apart from the competitors. But I want to get into your experience when it comes to, when it came to the job hunt process, right? Mm. Um, so mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the job hunting process. And so it was interesting because I think you were the first person who I kind of really had to hold your hand. Like I, yeah. I had other people who were, but these people had already had a tech background, right? Like they had came up, they taught themselves tech and taught themselves how to code. Mm -hmm. You were like truly the first greenie off the street, like, hey, this guy has no tech background whatsoever. And now he's employed in tech as an RP developer, right? So what do you recall about the beginning, the middle, and the end of the job hunt process. Meaning now you're employed, right? Okay, so right. let's talk about the very, very beginning. How did how, how did you feel in the very, very beginning? So you know, very beginning, broad eyed, bushy tail. You know, just complete the boot camp. I'm like, I'm about to crush this job hunting scene. That's uh -huh. how I felt. I, uh -huh. I couldn't have had my head held any higher. Okay. So that okay. was the beginning. You know, I was putting out my, uh, doing my applications. Mm -hmm. uh, I was doing, you know, 30 plus a week. Mm -hmm. um, some weeks I fell behind. But on average, you know, I was putting out those numbers. I was excited. So the mm -hmm. beginning of the process was pure excitement. Mm -hmm. And then what was the most, the middle was probably the most challenging part, right? Yeah, yeah. The middle, okay. the middle was challenging. What, that, what was the most challenging part about it? Well, that was when I was basically slapped by reality. Okay, mm -hmm. I am terrible at interviewing. 
<laughs> I, I don't know anybody that's actually worse than me. I appreciate the candor. <laughs> and the funniest thing is, I had no clue. I had no mm-hmm. clue I was terrible. So, you know, I was doing the interviews and, you know, I'm talking and I'm over explaining or under explaining or not understanding what's being said. I mean, it was just not good. Mm-hmm. And I was having these, you know, these, these, uh, experiences and, you know, not sure what was going on, but thank goodness that you, like you said, were handholding to the point where you would set up a, a blind interview for me where I didn't even know it was you, right? Orchestrating mm-hmm. it. And then, you know, you had me record my interviews and you were teaching me what to say, what not to say, and really helping me build my confidence. So <clears throat> the middle part was the hardest for me, but it, it also was the point where I did the most growing um, and mm-hmm. learning, mm-hmm. but it was, okay. it was, it was not easy. <laughs> so, and, and, and that's what people don't realize It's it's the social skills. And a lot of times it's the, it's the, you have to have the confidence, right? So right. I know with you specifically, one of your, um, what's the worst limiting beliefs was I don't have a degree. Right. So therefore, you know, I don't, you didn't, you felt as though that kept you back or that would keep you back. Right. right. Um, and so I think that was a big turning point for you. Like you got over like, OK, I don't need a degree to do this. Right. And you're still living proof that you do not need a degree. Most people or, or, or degrees or certifications, they think they need to have. Them, right. Um, now that you've been through the program and I, I'm, I'm going to go back so we can talk about the end, like once you actually got employed. But now that you've been through it, what would you say to someone who says I need you need you have to have a degree or a certification? to get into tech as an RPA developer or otherwise it's impossible. You're just holding yourself back. You don't need it. You honestly do not need it. They're looking for people who are competent and capable and most importantly, people that they like. It's as simple as that. That's it. That's it. That's it. And so I recall um, you had the issue. We talked. I recommended you a book. Do you remember what book I recommended? You? How to Ruin Friends and Influence People. Yes. You read that book, and am I lying? Am I, or maybe I'm wrong. Did you not land the next job that you got? I did. It was it's, very helpful. It's, it's phenomenal. It's very simple, right? Would you say that this is the best tech program that you have been through, period? Which and oh, would you suggest it to others? Absolutely. I suggested it to everybody number one <laughs> everybody and it is the best one i have ever been through and i've been through a few um mm-hmm. you know other programs are more interested in getting you uh the skills um i mean other programs are interested their main interest is getting you the skills right they they want to you know teach you these skills they want you to do these videos and then it's basically done at that point. But with this program, not only are you getting the skills, right? You're also getting a practical understanding of the skills. Um, You're being taught the underlying idea of how to be an engineer, which is very important, very important. But then you're taught the social skills to market your abilities. And that is the most important. Mm-hmm. I love it. So question I, I forgot to ask. So what was your income prior to getting into RPA? So prior to getting into RPA, I think I was mid 40s. OK, OK, mid 40s. And then you signed your offer letter for your first RPA job. And what was that income? I think I was making that was thirty nine fifty. So that was right at 80 81,000 81,000 no degree no background in tech no no nothing nothing that ever said that like okay nothing i love it and this and this this is why i tell everybody about you i'm like man you you, you got to meet joe you just got to meet joe like joe's a regular guy 
and he's proof that regular people can do it. I Period. started the program what in July. I did July, August. I was finished around September, you know, the the studying part. And mm -hmm. then I, that's when I transitioned more over to helping me understand how mm -hmm. to talk to people. Mm -hmm. And then it took from September to September, October. I landed the job, I think, in November. And it started in January. So. Okay. So then last question or last couple questions. If someone asks you, hey, Joe, I want to be a professional RPA developer like you, right? What do you think is more important? Like, what should I, like, obviously I should learn both, but what should I really harp on? My technical skills or my social skills? Social. Social. Easy. Social. Hey, before this program, I thought technical. Oh my God. <laughs> Why don't you learn you a little bit of Python, right? <laughs> Throwing in a little bit of automation anywhere in there. They're going to love you. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't they hire you? But now I understand. Those words that you put on a resume, those are the things that, you know, kind of uh, get you through the the automated pickup, right? They're like, you know, they're running through the little scanning programs and they're like, oh, mm -hmm. okay, this one ha checks off enough names. But what's going to land you that job is you communicating with these employers. Mm -hmm. Them liking you, you articulating well and basically checking off their boxes. Mm -hmm. The social skills are an absolute must. I love it. I love it. Okay. Final question. What would you say to someone who says, Hey, I'm interested in this program. I think, you know, AD is the one he can, he can teach me. Like, I think it's possible. I just don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can succeed. Like, I don't know if I'm smart enough. I don't know if I'm capable enough. I don't, what would you say to someone like that? You can do it. Just, just, just simply put, you can do it. It's, it's not complicated. It's not hard. It honestly doesn't even take that much practice. <laughs> it doesn't. Have you ever come across anything simpler in your career than RPA? I'm telling people, I'm like, hey, I'll give you a thousand dollars. If you can find me a technology, a skill that you can learn that is simpler than RPA, I've not come across it yet. Not and now, I didn't say easy. It becomes easy once you're so skilled at it, right? Right, right, right. I said simple, straightforward. Mm -mm. I, you know, I've done um, no, simpler, no, 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 no. That's it, guys. You you heard it here first. If you are looking for the world's, not the world, yeah, the world's simplest technical skills that allows one to get employed in tech, working a remote job, making $80,000 a year or more, right? No background, no technical experience. If you're looking for a simple way to get paid and get into tech, send me a message on IG and let's talk about enrolling you in my bootcamp. Peace. Boom. There we go. Stop it. Bam. Yes, I've been needing this.